Hello, welcome to this presentation on SPIDER3 monitor calibration software. In this session, I'm going to discuss Studio Match. This feature of SPIDER3 Elite assists you in calibrating multiple monitors so that they will appear similar to each other. When two or more monitors are viewed simultaneously, the eye will perceive differences between them that are not evident if the monitors are viewed individually. The primary characteristic that contributes to perceived differences between simultaneously viewed monitors is the white luminance level. This characteristic is often called brightness. When monitors are viewed individually, their white luminance level is not critical because the human visual system automatically adapts to the luminance level of the monitor. However, when more than one monitor is within the field of view at the same time, the eye cannot adapt to them individually. Therefore, they are perceived as being different. If all of the monitors have the same white point, gamma, and white luminance, then the perceived differences between them will be minimized. I am choosing Studio Match from the Actions menu to begin the process. In this screen, you indicate whether you are calibrating monitors attached to just this computer or monitors attached to many different computers. For this presentation, I am marking the radio button, Just This Computer. This screen displays the names of all monitors attached to the computer. If you have five monitors, and are only concerned about matching two of them, then unmark the checkboxes for the other monitors to exclude them from the matching process. Here you are asked to specify the gamma and white point that you want to calibrate all of the monitors to. If you select Change these settings, then you have access to all of the usual options for gamma and white point. For this presentation, the current settings of gamma 2.2 and white point 6500 Kelvin will be used. The first part of the process is to measure the white luminance capability of each monitor. Since one of the goals of this process is to adjust all of the monitors to the same luminance level, we need to know the maximum that each monitor can produce, so that we will specify a level that every monitor can achieve. Essentially, all of the monitors will be calibrated to the luminance level of the weakest monitor. For each monitor, you will be prompted to adjust its white luminance control to maximum. The luminance will be measured, and then you will return the white luminance control to its default position. On this Apple Cinema display, luminance is adjusted using the backlight control in the display's system preferences. Other makes and models of displays will be adjusted using buttons on the monitor itself. The first screen asks you to adjust the luminance control to maximum. Now, place the spider on the screen. The maximum white luminance of the monitor is measured. The final screen asks you to return the luminance control back to its default position. Remove the sensor from the display and adjust the monitor controls. These steps will be repeated for each monitor that is being calibrated in the Studio Match process. Here we are going through the same process for the second monitor, which is the Apple Cinema HD. First we adjust the luminance control to maximum. Next we place the spider on the screen. Then the monitor is measured. 
Then we return the luminance control back to its default position. Now that the luminance capability of all the monitors have been measured, the next step is to measure the ambient lighting conditions. This measurement will be used, along with the luminance capabilities of all the monitors, to determine the white luminance target value for the matching process. Be sure to adjust your ambient lighting to the normal working conditions before clicking Next. In this screen, the recommended white luminance target is displayed, along with a summary of the luminance capabilities of all of the monitors being matched. You may change the target value, but you cannot set it higher than the lowest value in the max white column. Now the calibration process will run on each monitor. At this point, we are prompted to adjust the white luminance of the monitor to the target value. The monitor is currently producing 132 candelas, and the target is 175. First, adjust the monitor's control, then click the Update button to measure the new level. Now the current value of the monitor is 197. Reduce the luminance control and measure again. Now the current value is 177. This is close enough to the target value. Click Continue to proceed through the calibration. For this presentation, the measurement process has been accelerated. Finally, remove the sensor then name and save the profile. This process will be repeated for each monitor. Now the second monitor, the Cinema HD, will be calibrated. First place the sensor on the monitor. Some measurements will be taken. Again, we are prompted to adjust the current monitor value to the target. After each adjustment of the monitor's controls, we click the Update button to take a new measurement. That's close enough. Now we click Continue to proceed through the calibration process. Finally, name and save the profile for the second monitor. Now the matching process is complete.